land with insecticides. And next up, a 13-year-old girl in Exeter has had the shock of her life when she was faced with the green jaws of a spider appearing through a hole in her garden wall. The tube web spider, which can measure up to two and a half centimetres, is originally from the Mediterranean and North Africa, but these little explorers have been appearing more and more frequently here in the UK, having hitched a ride over on cargo ships. Incredible. That's it for Naomi's News. Do you know what? I'm not 100% certain that it is all cargo ships because those, those spiders can actually um, balloon. They can, when they're spiderling, send up a, a string of silk, take themselves right up high into the air and, and they could easily cross the channel. And as climate change is, is becoming more and more prevalent, we're going to be seeing more and more creatures like this arriving totally naturally in the UK, which I, I personally think is really exciting. Yeah, I'm not so sure it's very exciting. Oh, we've got some news hot off the press. What does this say? It says, sit down, Steve, look a bit nervous, cue the music, it's time for Beat Back Show. You like this part of the show, don't you? No. Oh, poor little face. You did very well last week, though. All more right, so see if you can do as well this week. Silver Chirpy Silkworm wants to know, why are flamingos pink? It's, it's to do with the, uh, the the prey, the, um, the the brine shrimp and the algae that the brine sh shrimp actually feed on that passes up through the food chain into their into their coloration. And they also eat blue-green algae, which makes them That's pink. That's what I said. That's weird, yeah, but you didn't say blue-green. <sighs> I said the algae, that's the shrimp. That's the bit that I think's weird. <laughs> Next question. Red, black, generous vampire wants to know, what is a group of swallows called? Yeah, a flight. Very good. Very quick. Red polo wolf wants to know, what lizard squirts blood out of its eyes? Um, it, the, the scientific name is Phrynosoma. Um, uh, they're also known as, as horny toads, horned toads, horned lizards, um, and they're a kind of lizard which occurs in... Uh, you're already nodding your head. <laughs> in the Americas. you right. Come and see the little stress on his forehead. He does get a little bit nervous during this item. Cyan Curious Viper wants to know which bird builds the biggest nest. Oh, that's a really good question, actually. Um, uh, there's there's a lot of contenders for this. I mean, uh, the biggest conventional nest is probably the bald eagle, even though it isn't the largest of eagles. They build nests that are as much as six meters wide, two or three meters deep. But you're nodding your head. That isn't the largest nest. I know. You're going to tell but me it's the next bit. I'll oh, right. Okay. Card. Well, it's going to be uh, the megapod birds. They're these absolutely. Uh, they look like turkeys. They're kind of grotty looking and they build massive uh, heaps of vegetation which uh, actually warm up the eggs as the compost degenerates it provides natural heat they bury the eggs inside and they can be vast absolutely huge how does he do it that was exactly right and one more red violet laughing viper wants to know what animal can fly up in the sky the highest Okay, right, well, there's, there's the animal that, that regularly flies the highest, which is the bar-headed goose, which migrates right over the Himalayas at as much as 8,000, probably even 9,000 metres. Yeah, but the highest... <laughs> but the highest, the world record, is actually uh, something that was totally aberrant, and it happened just once. It was something called a Rupel's Vulture, uh, yeah. which was located at 11,000 metres above sea level uh, when it flew into a plane. That is exactly right. I can't believe it. Hats off to you, Steve. I'm not Let's writing these questions, Stevie I B. promise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So if you do have a question that you think can catch Steve out, you're obviously going to have to think of a really, really difficult one. Do head to our website, click on Live and Deadly, and then click on Steve's page. You can upload your questions there. So try and make them a bit more difficult next time but they were great questions and you've also been sending us your killer animal facts these are so good i love these lavender drum ladybird you've sent in two zebras uh, no two zebras have the same striped pattern. That's absolutely spot on, and that's exactly the same for, for, for cheetahs and leopards with their spots and tigers with their stripes. They're all as individual as a foot, uh, fingerprint. a wonderful fact. An orange leaping elephant says, giraffes and humans, what you said, both have the same uh, seven bones in their necks. Yes. Where did yeah. they get that from? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what else have we got here? Uh, Puce Spiky Goldfish says the oldest animal ever found was a 400-year-old clam. Yeah, it's something called a quay hog, um, which is a, a clam that's believed to live for enormous lengths of time. 400 years, th that hasn't been totally proved. Oh. I, th I think around about 250 is certain, but, but it's possible. That's still a long time. It is a very long time, yes. Very long time. And you've been sending in your cute, pi cute animal pictures as well. <laughs> I love these. We've got a very nice one from Archie, who sent us a picture of him and his hamster. Sandeep has sent us this one of a little chick. Can we have an ah? The little cute animal. And Ollie has sent us a hamster in an egg cup. Oh, they are lovely. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about how much cute is seeping into this programme. It's supposed to be all about deadly. In fact, 
Well, I'm Actually, really interested. It has been known for golden eagles to drive really large animals like mountain goats and deer off the side of cliffs so they fall, break their legs, hurt themselves, and then it will sw swoop in and finish it off. A four and a half kilo eagle chowing down something ten times its weight. That is some serious strength to body weight ratio. So, it's golden go eagle, top, it? it's got to go up there, really. It really has to go up there. Can you I mean, move I can't see anything else. Just a little bit there. I tell you what, how about we move shrew? Oh, no! Over there somewhere. How about Come that? Come here, quick, quick, quick. Yes, yeah, so don't forget. The Diddley Day out tomorrow in Belfast, Belfast City Hall. If you live somewhere nearby, get on down there for the fun starts at 10 o'clock. And I've just been told those ostrich eggs weren't fertile, which means that's why they're not as Whatever. strong as they should have been. <laughs> Listen, I've just got to ask Mark, have you got any more plans on the horizon? Any big plans? Yeah, I'm back out on expedition soon. I, I'm, I'm excited about stuff which has never been done before, so I'll be back out and bring it to screen next year. Excellent. You're not going to tell us what it is. We love mysteries. Very thank exciting. you very much for coming on board, mate. We've got to thank everybody here at Belfast Zoo. Of course, our lovely live and deadly audience. Thank you very much. And the real stars of the show, all the animals. Do get yourself down here to come and see them all. We've had a ball today. And come to my deadly day out tomorrow, yes. Belfast City Hall. We're going to be there from 10. Have see you all weekend. there. See you next week. Bye. Bye.